Bangladesh is a developing and prosperous country on the world map. country is moving towards economic liberty after the independence in 1971 under the leadership of the father of the nation, Bangabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. Among 160 million citizens of this developing country, half of their population are women. Women empowerment can take a country to the highest peak of success. The development of women empowerment means they have to be educated. In a developing overpopulated country such as Bangladesh, the female literacy rate is not really satisfactory, only a small number of women are educated. But the biggest obstacle in moving forward is our poverty. The majority of the people in Bangladesh live in poverty. Once I was going to school regularly, my father forced me to get married as he could not afford the cost. My daughter did well in school, even getting a scholarship in class 8. She got married and then her husband left her. Many brilliant students get lost due to lack of love and assistance in life. They could become the guide for many moving society forward. So, in keeping this as a goal, the birth of the Future Now Foundation took place. Our goal is to empower women of developing countries by promoting education. We provide scholarships to female students who achieve great success in science, engineering technology and math. We believe that by enriching our women through education, we could build a prosperous nation. So we are providing higher education opportunities to brilliant female students who can make our belief a reality. Whoever has helped us with our intentions, our heartfelt gratitude goes out to you. We are requesting others to put forward a kind hand your support will help lead them to a brighter future. I am Sadia, an 11th grade student. My father is a poor farmer. My family gets by with my father's limited income. It was difficult for my father to bear my expenses until SSE and I have achieved a golden GPA of 5. Given my eagerness to study, my father helped me to get admitted to Juranpur Ideal College. Everyone told me to marry her off, but I refused. Seeing her interest in studies, I let her continue. Now that she is getting help, I believe that she will have a brighter future. Every year, many brilliant students come here to study. I have many dreams for all of them, but I feel disheartened when I see they cannot receive higher education due to economic trouble. I'm grateful to Future Now Foundation. The Future Now Foundation stood beside my poor students. My heartfelt gratitude goes out to the Future Now Foundation and we hope that their initiative spreads throughout the entire country.
As a non-profit organization, we provide merit-based scholarships through public fundraising and networking events to females of developing nations aspiring to pursue higher education. We want all students to have an equal opportunity to enhance their lives. The Future Now Foundation provided me with a scholarship given my excellent grades. Now, I can only dream of the possibilities for the future. I want to be a software engineer like Bill Gates or Marisa Mayer. Thousands of girls just like me are waiting for the right opportunity. Your help can show them the right path. There are many talented students whose future is very bright. If they get the right opportunity, they can make their lives better. And as a result, our great country will have more doctors, software engineers and policy makers. In a country with female leaders such as the Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and Speaker Shirin Sharmin Choudhury, we must continue to reach toward our goal of a rise in education opportunities for all young women. Now I am moving closer to my dream since I have the help of the Future Now Foundation. Many more girls aspire to be just like me. A woman is more than capable of helping with the progression of her country. She might just need a little help. invited to be part of this beautiful journey. The Future Now Foundation, empowering women through STEM education.